Considering how much the community seemed to appreciate the previous entry in the KSP Dark Arts series, I thought it was only fitting to buckle down a bit and bring the next one to you all ASAP. In this episode, we will be taking a look at another building trick, this one to set up symmetry of any number. This is not the first tutorial that has been made for this trick, but the more tutorials there are, the more likely that everyone can learn this neat trick. Let's go ahead and jump in. If we want 5x or 7x symmetry, the solution is easy. We simply make sure that we have advanced tweakables enabled in the options menu, place the parts we want in 6x or 8x symmetry, and then we simply select the Remove from Symmetry button on one of the parts, and then remove it. The remaining 5 or 7 parts will now be in 5x or 7x symmetry, and we can simply grab one with the Move tool and shift it slightly to make the symmetry spacing recalculate. If we want symmetry higher than the stock value of 8, things are a little more complex. First we need a base part that other parts can be surface attached to, for example, a fuel tank. Then we place another surface attachable part on the base part with symmetry turned off, let us call this the symmetry parent. We then place another part onto the symmetry parent, let us call it the symmetry child, in symmetry mode, with the exact symmetry amount changing based on the final symmetry we are aiming for. Now we pick up the symmetry parent and place it back down with symmetry enabled. The total symmetry is now the parent symmetry times the child symmetry. If we want more than 64 times symmetry, we will need to perform a third multiplying step. It is not recommended to use symmetries higher than 512 though, as the sheer number of parts added is very likely to cause the game to freeze or crash. If our final target symmetry is not an easy multiple of the stock symmetries, we can use the same remove from symmetry trick that we used to get 5x or 7x symmetry to get down to the exact number we want. Once we have done this, we can simply pick up the actual part we want to place in our new symmetry and mouse over the symmetry children while holding it with symmetry active. This will set our current symmetry mode to the new symmetry and we can now place our part. As an example, let's say we want 26x symmetry. This is not a convenient multiple of stock symmetries. We will place the symmetry children in 4x symmetry and then pick up and replace the symmetry parent in 8x symmetry for a total symmetry of 32. We then remove one parent from symmetry to get 7x times 4x symmetry, or a total of 28, then remove two children from symmetry to reach 26x symmetry. Arbitrary symmetry is one of my favorite and most used building tricks. It's a huge quality of life upgrade for all sorts of projects, from cramming 320 intakes inside a fairing for my jet engines on Duna video, to setting up just the right amount of fuel tanks on the Tylo braking stage and lander in my 2-engine Jewel 5. Hopefully, you'll find this trick just as useful as I have. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.